Let's be real. I love 500 Days of Summer. More than my non-existent girlfriend that lives rent-free in my head is possibly my favorite rom-com ever while breaking the mold of rom-coms by trying to do more. And that trying to do more part is shown through the awesome editing and beautiful visuals of the film with amazing direction by Mark Webb while having great and awesome performances by both the leads, Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Zoe Deschanel. But I'd argue the best part about 500 Days of Summer is the story about love because it feels so real and truthful and it truly hits me like an emotional truck. That's why 500 Days of Summer hits so hard for me. But why does it have that effect on me? First off, I would believe is the editing of the film. It's the representation of memory and this memory coming from the perspective of Tom Hansen, who is hopelessly in love with this girl, Summer. He's trying his best to recollect all of his best moments with her. And that's the funny thing about our brain, especially our memory, because it likes to play tricks on us. It's like editing in that way. It cuts out the parts we don't like and leaves the parts that we do, especially when we're living in the moment. When we're older, we look back at those moments and realize that those good moments weren't the full story whatsoever. That's how the editing is like throughout 500 Days of Summer. It skips and jumps from event to event, like a man reminiscing about that person who changed everything for them. It truly captures Tom Hansen's perspective really well, especially the first couple scenes where he recalled the relationship going real smoothly. So for her to suddenly dump him, hit him like a speeding truck. That's the thing though, he missed all the signs of this happening. Cause later on, that's actually not how the moments happened. That's the beauty of cutting on the right time to make sure the clip doesn't overstay its welcome and flow smoothly. That's how he looked at his relationship. But as he looks back later on in the film, we see these moments linger on and they show how Summer was not feeling him whatsoever. And Tom was just forcing it, which guys or girls, if she was the one, she'd probably give you the same energy that you give her. If that's not the case, then maybe it ain't it. Love shouldn't be constipation with you trying to force it out of somebody. It should be natural and just let it flow. And if it ain't coming out, it just ain't meant to be, you know what I'm saying? Just get off the toilet at that point. My second reason why 500 Days of Summer makes me an emotional wreck is because I relate to Tom Hansen a lot. It's tragic how much I relate to him, even though it's clear that he is somewhat in the wrong. Because I was in love once, or I thought it was, really. My heart skipped a beat every time I saw her at school. She checked all the boxes of who I wanted, and like Tom, my happiness relied on her being there, especially with me. It got to a point where I projected my happiness onto her, and she never asked for that, and that's not fair to her, honestly, looking at her now. She didn't owe me a thing, and I know that now, and I wish I knew it then too. Plus, it wasn't healthy for me either. For my entire happiness to be reliant on one person is absolutely draining for the soul. That's why I relate to Tom Hansen a lot. I guess you could say that's my literally me character. We all wanted to believe in this fairy tale love where this one person fills that dark deep void in your soul. I've been in his shoes and many others who watch this film have been too. And some of those people deflect that anger towards Summer because they feel that hurt. But I couldn't be mad at Summer, even though she has her faults too. She made it clear she didn't want anything serious with Tom. Yet Tom tried to force it. And after all that heartbreak and feeling from that, Tom pulls himself back up and falls back in love with his career in architecture. And he keeps moving and learning and finally being comfortable being by himself. He's heading toward a new season in his life and truly making a name for himself until he runs into summer one last time on a park bench. As much as he's progressed and matured, those feelings for her don't stop. And he still feels hurt, especially after seeing the ring on her finger. Honestly, I'd be salty too if I saw her get wiped up by another guy. Hit me like a ton of bricks at that point. Really, I'm, I'm glad that she's happy. But I wish I was the man that made her happy. Oh man, shit's tough, bro. But with this last confrontation with Summer, he can finally move on with the rest of his life. Honestly, it gives me hope. If a hopeless romantic like Tom can move on with his life, so should I. Life isn't gonna be waiting for us to move on. It'll move on without us. So it's time to grab it by the nipples and hold on tight and possibly twist. And who knows, someday we may find that person who gives us that same energy. And that's why 500 Days of Summer hits so hard for me and why I urge you to watch this gem of a film.